us your names and where you're from. Well, uh, my name is Gerhard Gold. I'm from Austria. Uh, 41 years old, and yeah, I'm doing this kind of stuff for uh, already 10 years. About this kind of adventure races, I'm really enjoying them a lot. That's basically the reason I'm here. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is René Lenz. I'm uh, 27 years old, and yeah, I met uh, Gerald last year, and so I'm uh, his supporter now in the experience. Mm -hmm. So how did it come about that you became each other's, well, that you became a partnership for the, the Hike and Fly races? Oh. Yeah, it, it, it was just like, um, yeah, I wrote in, in a group, we are on the same um, paragliding, um, what? Local, and yeah, local in a group, club. Yeah, mm -hmm. local club. And uh, he just asked, hey, I need a supporter <laughs> who has time <laughs> this weekend. Yeah. And I said, yes, let's go. It was for a small race uh, last yeah. year. And yeah, since then we ended up together. Yeah, and it's working pretty well. So, mm -hmm. and you enjoy it? Yes, oh, sure. Yeah. Our first, our first uh, race we did together was a uh, third place. Yeah, so, so uh, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. So we decided to go on. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you've you've done the the expo before? Yes, I did. L last time, last yeah. edition, and how did it go? Not that good, actually. Uh, Due to the strong conditions we had last time, and yeah, it wasn't much flying then, so that's actually the main reason I'm back again because I had the feeling I'm not done with the Pyrenees yet, so I have to come back again and see how flying the Pyrenees is because I didn't have much flying then. So, is, has it influenced your strategy for this race? Not really, you cannot change the weather. I mean. Yeah, but I mean, the, there was a, definitely a, a group of, of the front gaggle who, who made a lot of progress at the beginning to try yeah. and keep with the good weather. So it's Yes, but I mean, they are physically stronger mm -hmm. and it's definitely, I mean, I cannot keep up, keep up with Kriegel or with Stanislav, they're, they're definitely fast on the road, so I can do my best, but maybe that's something I, I, I'll maybe focus a little bit more on what the weather report say and check that a little bit, take it a little bit more into consideration, but in general I wouldn't say that it has a big impact on the strategy. Okay. And the beginning of the race, like up to turn point two at Ori, have you got kind of a preference for north or south or what's, what's your uh, general Definitely thinking? Not, not running too fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, uh, it was, that was actually my, uh, my best flight last year mm -hmm. and it ended up quite good. I was the first one to uh, climb about about 100 meters above uh, launching, above the launch, mm -hmm. and had a quite good flight actually. The first one and, uh, gained a lot of pot um, got a lot of places with the first fight. So yeah, better focus on when's the time, uh, the right time to launch, than hurry there and maybe losing too much power. Mm -hmm. And what do you think of the route this year? Yeah, it became more difficult. <laughs> but it, it, gets, it gets more difficult every time, so it, um, yeah, that's what I expected. <laughs> and do you think it will um, make it sort of level the field more, or do you think it will polarize it more? Mm. Oh, I don't, I don't think that the route has that much influence on them, if, the, if the field gets stretched or not. That's, that's more a question of the conditions. Mm -hmm. so if the weather is good, everyone can fly if the conditions are really good and if the conditions are really bad everyone has to walk but if the conditions are very good for one group and very bad for the other one group then it then it stretches up of course you you've done so many hike and fly races yeah. i mean when you say 18 years when i looked at your cv of just the number of races yeah. <laughs> that you've done do you think you're a little bit obsessed mm. <laughs> Maybe, but I mean, a lot of people do a lot of XC flying, and I prefer these hike and fly races. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely doing more flights than many other people who go who do paragliding. So I, I wouldn't call it obsessed, but I, I really enjoy these kind of races because it's, yeah, it's it was my uh, my very idea to start paragliding to walk up with the with the paraglider and fly down in the valley, and yeah, yeah it took me ten years after starting paragliding to go into this walk and fly scene and now it's, yeah, I really feel like 
going back to the, the main idea why I started it. That's, a, that's great. Yeah. That's really good. Okay, well, we wish you every success in the race and Thank that you. it goes really well and that we get to see you in Porta de la Selva when you fly down. Let's that's, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the big goal. Yeah. <laughs>